So do you guys want to tame your own magical hippogriffs? Well today guys, I have you covered. So the vivarium, the room of requirement, the fact you can tame your own magical beasts, collect them, feed them, brush them, farm them for materials, it's absolutely incredible. It's probably my favourite feature within Hogwarts Legacy. And today guys, I'm going to show you the easiest way in how you can actually tame these hippogriffs because it is quite challenging if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you need to find them first. But when you actually get there, guys, they do try and leg it. But today I have you covered. Now, while I have your attention, guys, if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more daily Hogwarts legacy videos and guides, make sure you subscribe and turn on those beautiful notifications. Okay, and I'm sure I'm missing one here. What's he doing over there? Come back. Don't you need feeding? Little, look at his little wobbly ass. There you go. Okay, so i got a video to make my niffly run away. Okay, so firstly, guys, to actually, you need to, well, if you got to a stage where you know about taming, you're good. But if you don't, you first need to do a quest line where you unlock the knobsack. Knobsack? <laughs> knobsack. Knobsack. What are you talking about? Jesus. Man, I can't, well, I can, but hey. Okay, so you get this via doing a quest line for D, could the elf, the knapsack, and the loom. This is around the 30th quest, a part of the main story quest in the game, but get this done, guys. Uh, and in the process of doing this, you'll learn about the room requirements, you'll learn about the vivarium, and you're good to go out into the world and tame those beautiful magical beasts. So yes, knapsack is a must. Without this, you ain't doing anything. Okay, so let's go to the map. And we're going to show you to you where you can find those hippogriffs. I actually stumbled across these on accident. So it's right the way up here. So we're right near the top of the map. You want to zoom in and you can see it right there. So if I zoom out, you can see where I'm at. Uh, Forbidden Forest. I'm zoom in again. And there we go. The hippogriff den. Now there's normally two or three here. Uh, but that's where we've got to go. So I'm going to pin that. And then go to this... Um, uh, flu flame here but if you haven't guys you need to get to your nearest one and then travel up here uh, but at the end of this if you got your broom you're good but i've got i've already opened it so i'm just going to travel make it easier on myself guys but you guys have got the location you know how to get here okay now before we actually go in there's a few things you may want to apply to your spell diamond to make this easy okay so you want to apply um uh, Leviosa, make sure these are all on the same spell diamond as well to make it much easier on yourself. So put this on. You want to put on this one too, the disillusionment, make yourself go invisible. Helps an absolute ton. And make sure, guys, you have uh, the knapsack too. Don't worry about this. Uh, you can't even use these on wild animals. But these three are an absolute must. Okay, so get on your broom. And we're going to fly over. To those magical beasts now you don't want to land directly in the middle of them because they're going to run away so you want to go around the side a bit just like so and you'll see them right there now there's a couple now i want i'm trying to get like different colors i've only had whites and you see if you get close they they panic people they panic so i'm just going to land here this is where we go invisible i'm just going to go invisible and then try and like get behind them and you want to use that Levioso. As soon as you use that Levioso on it and it goes up into the air, guys, you want to run over and pop it with that bag. Just like so. Let's press the combination. Press the combination. And press the combination. You are good and you will catch it. And there we have it, guys. Now, if you want to get the other one, um, you can see there's no point in even chasing. Your best bet is to fly out the area and come back or fly out the area and skip time. Uh, and then come back but yes that is the best way and the easiest way to earn and get a hippogriff now if you're thinking about breeding you just want to collect all these animals for your vivarium and i hope this helps you out but yes i will bring guides to all the harder pets all the harder beasts to um catch because some of them just ain't straightforward at all but yes guys there we have it i got myself another hippogriff which i'm probably just gonna sell anyway <laughs> 
Oh, release. Yeah, I'm probably just going to release them. I don't need another one. So, yeah. Goodbye. But there we go. That's how you get and catch those hippogriffs. And, well, I hope the video helped you. Actually, if you did leave a like, it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.